Hi, I'm Joe Sandow. Um, I'm going to do my third and final talk, which uh, is yet again about working on the front end. This is going to be just as hilarious as the zombie <coughs> is. I promise. Uh, I'm going to talk about something called JavaScript Shell. For people who uh, don't like coding in JavaScript, there's a reason. It's because it's really, really hard to code in JavaScript when you're saving a file and you're going somewhere to like refresh your page and try it again, and it still doesn't work. And you do that about 5,000 times, and you don't know why it doesn't work. And it's usually because there's some hidden property you didn't know about. So there's something called JavaScript Shell. You don't need to know the URL. You just need to know it's called JavaScript Shell. And you go to Google, you put in JavaScript Shell, and you end up here. There's a little link here that says get the shell bookmark it, Firefox only. This is yet another reason why you need Firefox for development, the other reason being Firebug. There's a little thing here that says shell. There's a zillion other things in this page, but the only one that really matters is the top one. So I take this, I drag this little rectangle up here to where I have my bookmarks. And it becomes a bookmarklet, which is a, if I mouse over it, it's a giant URL starting with JavaScript, colon, and a program. When I click this, this will execute JavaScript in the context of the current web page. And we'll see what that does. So let me go to some page that's got some stuff I can play with. Let's say I work at Slashdot and I want to play around with new functionality. And um, come on, internet. Here we go. So here I have uh, slash that, what's going on? Nine browsers compared for speed and features, boring. Australian government may employ a homegrown quantum key system. Very important, check that out. So if I, I'm on this page and I've got this little shell button here, I click the button and a new window pops up, it says JavaScript shell 1.4. This is uh, going to be executing JavaScript code in the context of the current page. And it's got a few extra things that it can do. So if I do document tab, uh, dot, and then I hit tab, it says 153 matches. Press tab again to see them all. Tab. These are all the things on document that I can do. It has, um, it has autocomplete, so I can say here's first child, tab, complete, done. First child is a document, object of document type. So uh, let's say I want to make this thing over here do something. It doesn't do anything right now. Um, I will save myself some time. I know that the ID of, um, actually, why don't I just do this proper? So if I open up Firebug and I inspect this thing over here, I can see there's a div here called poll content. Uh, there's an ID of poll content. Let me copy that div and go back into JavaScript shell. So if I do document.get element, and I can tap complete, get element by ID, and then I do paste that in, and I get this thing. It's an object, HTML div element. I'll say d equals, let's say d equals that. And so I've got that thing, and I can do things to it, like I can say props d, and that's going to give me all of the things that are on that object. I can do blink d, and if you look carefully over on the side, it blinks and tells you where that object is on the page. Uh, I can also go do some actual coding. I can say, let's say I want to do, um, this page happens to have jQuery, so I can say jQuery whole content field set, I'll take the field set there and I will slide it up. And there it goes. Boom. So I now have code that I know will do that. Uh, I can have this rather more complicated thing that I figured out here. Um, but basically, this page has jQuery. I'm not going to go into great detail about jQuery. But I'm going to say, uh, for the things that have this ID, I'm going to add a click handle or a function. This is going to be the function. That function is going to find the poll content field set. And it's going to slide toggle it up and down. So I do this, and uh, jQuery exists on the page. That's what it tells me there. And I put this thing in, because I've got one minute left. And now I have applied that click handler event, but nothing changed on the page, nothing visible. However, I have now changed the nature <coughs> of this title object. If I click on it, it now toggle slides up and down. So now, through experimentation quickly in JavaScript shell, I have figured out the code to actually add that functionality onto this element. Wow.